Good afternoon, this is Lee Sunbeam with Four Square Inspection. Today I'm up on a second story roof. I wanted to show you a few things that I noticed as part of this home inspection. Whenever it's possible, as long as the roof is not too steep or covered with snow and ice, I will attempt to walk on the roof. I can see things up close, I can look into the gutters, I can jiggle any pipes that are sticking up and make sure the boot is not loose someplace, and I walk around and when I feel things that are a little squishy like I did here, that gives me clues for additional things that I can look for in the attic inspection later on. And I did note that the sheathing under this location in the attic does have some splintering, which I would be able to note in my report. I also noted that the rain cap is missing off of this water heater vent, and rainwater can dribble all the way down into the basement, and I saw evidence of that when I did the basement inspection. The biggest concern though that I noted up here was that the dimensional shingles on this roof are not installed correctly. All shingles are purchased in bundles that have installation instructions printed right on the bundle. The older style three tab shingles allowed several options for installation, one of which is called the straight up or vertical racking installation. I've got it leveled shown here with some chalk and it involves a uh, six inch stagger left and right on up and it repeated that for each successive course of shingles. Another installation involved a more of a stair step type install with again an offset of five to six inches but over five or six different courses and then repeated back at a higher level from that. With these new dimensional or architectural shingles though, most shingle manufacturers do not permit the vertical racking installation. One manufacturer does permit it, but mentions that it may result in an undesirable repetitive visual pattern on the roof. Also because as the shingles age, they will shrink slightly, the lined up installation may become more noticeable. A more worrisome possible issue can relate to wind resistance and stormy weather. The biggest concern, though, relates to warranty coverage in the event that the shingles proved to be defective. All warranties are written to require the manufacturer's installation instruction to be followed. Not followed? No warranty. So this roof we're looking at does have the dimensional shingles, but they're installed with the straight-up vertical racking technique. And I circled each of the uh, joints all the way up this roof, and you can see that it is exactly what that is talking about. You know, at this point, several years after installation, no one's going to be persuaded to come back and reinstall this roof. So the comments in my inspection report will just note this condition and simply recommend that the buyer monitor for future leaks. Some inspectors travel around in a car, carry a 12-foot collapsible ladder, and claim to be able to inspect a high roof like this with binoculars or a high-resolution camera or a drone. Me, I'll bring the tall ladder and I'll walk it. Have a great day. Lee Sundin, Four Square Inspection.